Hello, I'm Anna of Animal Spirit, and I'm here today to consider the topic of sterilization of our domestic pets, meaning the spaying or neutering of cats and dogs, for example. Many humans assume that the pets who live with us really, really, really want the opportunity to become a parent, either for personal reasons to do with their character or for some instinct of continuation of their species. However, in my 20 years of practicing as an animal communicator, I have to say that this just isn't true in the vast majority of cases. You see, animals are also very, very present. And so for those who've never actually given birth before, they literally don't know what they're missing. They're definitely not sitting around wishing for a reality that they haven't yet experienced. Also, animals, being as present as they are, don't live in the future. They don't have concepts about how they wish things could be, again, about something that they've not yet experienced. So what do we do with an animal who seems to have a very caring or maternal or paternal nature? Well, there are many ways that they can express this in a family context. They can bring that kindness and compassion to other animals in the household. They could take a protective role in the family. They can have a fabulous relationship with any human children in the household. They could be involved in caring for foster animals or sick animals. There's so many ways for any being to express their caring nature without having to actually breed or create their own offspring. If we consider now the bigger picture in the world as it is, we know that the animal shelters and rescue facilities are filled to the brim with millions upon millions upon millions of unwanted, abandoned or neglected animals. And those are only the lucky ones that have the shelter and food that they can find in these establishments and rescue facilities. There are many more hundreds of millions living desperate lives of sickness and starvation on the streets. And we all have a role to play in this. Even if we know that we can find loving homes for the kittens of our beloved cat, what happens to the kittens of those kittens and so on further down the line? Any quick internet search will quickly show you how quickly this cascading pyramid of proliferation of hundreds of thousands of animals result from just two breeding. I do support sterilization and when I'm having to explain to animals what the process involves the surgery, the recovery, and the hormonal changes that might follow, I always find them very accepting. Using telepathic animal communication, I explain to them with apology the state of the world that us humans have created with not enough space and loving homes for beings of their species. And I ask them to understand that preventing them having their own babies will help the quality of life of all of their kind. Without exception, I have found cats, dogs, horses, rabbits, and all other manner of domestic animals to be very understanding and accepting of this. So I ask you to consider carefully and to avoid projecting any ideas you may have of cute babies or the desire to be a parent onto the animals. Rather consider the bigger picture and do the right thing. As young as is safe to do so, physiologically speaking, Take your own pets to be neutered or spayed and support mass sterilization where, where you can because those campaigns do a lot to help prevent even more despair and disaster for so many unwanted pets. Thank you.